Hey y'all, it's your girl Kai and I'm back with another video. Okay, so we're just gonna hop right on into this story um, because this is part two of the fight, you know, the long awaited, most anticipated video. And I don't know why I've been playing with y'all like I have, but let me stop and let me go ahead and make this video. Today is May 7th, I know, it's like two weeks late. And I'm planning on posting this no later than May 8th. So I'm just gonna try to give y'all this story time straight to the point not really try to edit as much and we just gonna get into it because you know i'm trying to get y'all this content okay cool so i believe the last part of the story i left off was oh sorry if you're new here um go ahead and make sure you subscribe like comment share all the all the things all the things um if you all you keep coming back and back and back and back and back again like you always do you know about you, you know i love you and um if you haven't seen part one of this story time you're probably going to be a little confused in some parts because I'll be referring to things that I told y'all in that video, which is basically just the background of how we even got to the point of scuffling and tussling in the first place. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, Okay, like I was saying, so I think that the, I left off with how um, I had got back into town after they had jumped my sister. So I get back in town and you know after finding out that they didn't jump my sister or whatnot um my cousin was involved my other sister was involved then you know my sister who was the main you know one of the main characters in the story so i get back home uh, like it's been like a few days after the jumping thing like a couple days i don't think it was that long but um yeah so i get back home it's like the night that i got home like i got home like you know midday time i guess when it was still light outside, by the time I got home, when the light had went down, the sun had went down, and it was dark outside, my sister come downstairs. I'm chilling in the living room watching TV. Mind you, it's nighttime. It's like past midnight, I believe. Like, it's, it's late. It's late. So my sister come downstairs, and she's like, Kai. Like, over, over, like, you know, the little opening in the stairs. She like, Kai. She look at me. And I was like, I was like, yeah, what's up? She was like, girl, I was trying to see if you were asleep. Guess who just takes me? I was like, Goofy. She was like, yes, Goofy just texted me. And I'm like, all right, all right. Like, that's all I needed. Like, that's all I needed. Because at, th at this point, y'all already know that I was looking for a reason to get in this whole ass. I was looking for a reason, right? So, that's like literally all I needed. I didn't even need to know what she said. I know it was not an apology. I know it was nothing positive. I know it was nothing good. I knew nothing good could come from this. Also, my voice is gone and I'm a little under the weather. Um, I had an allergic reaction two days ago. I'm still going through it. And my job has me <sighs> yelling stuff in my lungs all the time. So you just ignore that. Act like I sound regular. Anyway, <clears throat> what was I saying? Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm like, that's all I needed. So um, she comes out. She's like, this is what she said. She shows me messages. I don't know what the message said exactly. It was something to the effect of probably something like keep my name out your mouth probably some dumb shit right like details don't matter this time details don't matter and i think i have the screenshots from me texting her after i found out that she had texted my sister and let's go back and forth and that kind of thing if i do i'll put them in here a quick little one two make it shake a little bit um pause to read if i do end up putting them in here if i don't then i mean they're not that important anyways it was really just a going back and forth bullshit bullshit more bullshit right okay cool so um at this point it's like okay like i'm just getting more and more riled up more and more riled up so i believe that this happened <coughs> excuse me anyway i'm back so okay oh okay so don't quote me on this but y'all know how i said i think it was the day that i got back that she texted okay so after we ended up texting back and forth texting back and forth and back and forth and back and forth we ended up fighting that next day. So if I got home, 
And I know I didn't get home on no Sunday. So, we ended up fighting on, like, a Monday because we had, like, the kids was at school. It was, like, the weekend, that kind of thing, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. Um, so, what I will say is it was, I hadn't been home that long. I won't say it was the same day I got home because that just doesn't make sense. I believe I came home that Friday after the jumping thing happened. And then the texting thing ended up happening a couple days later because that's, that's the only way it makes sense in my head. Because if I got home on a Friday because the jumping thing happened on a Wednesday... And the kids had school the next day. It couldn't have been Friday when, you know, we was going back and forth. That just doesn't make sense. But I do know for a fact that it was a school day that we got to tussling. And I, y'all will hear how. So, um, yeah, so let's say that was a Sunday. We're going back and forth Sunday. Da, 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 woo, 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 woo. Boom. So I'm like, all right, tell, tell our mom, tell mom, tell mom. Our mom wasn't home that night. She was uh, out. Um, So my mom was like, all right, da, da, woo, woo, woo. I end up calling her. I'm like, yeah, so I'm going to fight Goofy. I'm just telling her, giving her a heads up. I'm not asking permission. I'm not trying to get talked out of it. It is what it is at this point. I'm just running up on my mama because I got that much respect for her. Just so anything go down because, you know, I am grown and whatnot. And I get, good, I get booked or something like that. I would like for you, I would like for you to know. I'm not about to go rip, ripping and running in the streets in the middle of the night to go fight this girl. But it is going to happen in the near future. So I just run around my mama because I know she was out. And she went out like have fun. I won't try to ruin her nothing like that. But it was very important. Like in that moment, like it was it was it was a matter of dire importance. If you know, you know because you watched the first part. You know it's been a lot of shit leading up to this. So I ended up telling her, she's like, Y'all need to fight them girls. Da -da -da -woo -woo. She's not she's not even going off. She's just like, Y'all need to fight them girls. Don't worry about it. They don't got nothing going for themselves. That's why they're trying to fight y'all, because they know that that y'all got this going for yourself, which is very true, which is very true because um so goofy graduated when i graduated right i don't know if she's in school or not um i don't know um but the fact that you're hanging uh hanging around up at the high school gives me bum vibes because you graduated at this point she had graduated what a year and a half ago why are you still hanging up at the high school hanging out why are you loitering go 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 to work go to corporate america get you a nice career start a career yeah, I don't know. Get you a part-time job or something. Start a business. I think she does have a business. It ain't jumping. Okay, cool. Go to school. Something. Why are you hanging up here at the school with the high schoolers? You're a fucking bum. Stupid. Like you're like I I knew she had nothing going for herself. I already knew this. I already knew this. I didn't need my mama to tell me this, but the fact like it, I don't care at this point. And as far as Goofy sister goes, who do we call her? Tip then. Tipton, y'all. Okay, so this is the real gag. So you, you remember when I told y'all that Goofy was like, um, your retarded a little brother, da da woo woo woo. Y'all, her sister is literally, and I don't even use I don't even use the word retarded because you know that's just not that's just not cool. Like you know I hung out people with disabilities all my life. I've been exposed to that, so I don't even use the word retarded. But her sister is slow. Like the the wires don't click. The wires don't click in Goofy head either because obviously the bitch is dumb. But like her sister is like actually dumb on paper though. And let me tell you how. Okay, any editing I do will be because I'm dying and I had to cut that out because you know I don't need y'all seeing all that. Anyway, damn, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So yeah, so her sister is actually saw on paper. And get this, so. Her sister at this point, Tipton, she's supposed to be graduating with my sister. So me and Goofy in the same grade, Tipton and my sister are in the same grade, right? Okay, cool, we get it. I'm two years ahead of my sister, which means Goofy's two years ahead of her sister. Yay, we get it. Y'all, why is my sister in the 12th grade, senior year of high school, class of 2022? Tipton is supposed to be class of 2022 too, right? We get it. But Tipton just don't fucking get it. She failed 11th grade. And and the only reason we know this is because after my sister and the whole jumping thing happened or whatever, either like either that or before the time before that when she had took the messages to the school because I'm almost like, if, if you end up fighting this girl, do it the right way. You know, we'll, we'll go tell administration and all that. After she had talked to administration, they was like, oh yeah, like she failed. She failed 11th grade on paper but they just went ahead and passed her because they were like okay we're gonna, we're gonna give you another shot because maybe maybe she didn't fail by that much i don't really know they didn't go into detail but they told my sister it was like she failed 11th grade and she's failing 12th grade too 
they ended up expelling her from the school. She got kicked out. She at this point, after they had did the jumping thing, she had she was already in they was already in processing, processing the papers for her to get kicked out of the school. She failed two grades. The last two at that. You gotta be slow. Like you you in home stretch. Home stretch. And you just crumbled. That's some goofy shit. Anyway. So yeah, your sister's literally slow. And the reason she I okay. She's slow and she just dumb. My sister told me that she had a class with her. And she was sitting in the class talking about basically like, yeah, I was sucking his not not the one but the the two i was i was suck i was going down you know to suck his one and his two you know you know how that works his two was the hygiene wasn't hygiene and she was like but i still did it so you in class talking about how you was down there sucking stank balls but you can't pass 11th to 12th grade your priorities are fucked. Like, you're really you're really slow. It, it makes no sense. So, like, the whole family dynamic is not dynamic. It just makes no sense. So, my mom basically, like, don't waste y'all time. They don't have nothing going for themselves. Which, at this point, we already knew that because she done failed. She, she don't got nothing going for herself. Goofy. Look at the material. The mom, her time is, is well over with. Like, she's, there's no hope. There's no hope here. So it's like it's not at this point in my like it's not even about that. So you know I get it like you know as a mom like you know you say your little spiel and whatnot and of course you're not supposed to encourage your children to go out here and be fighting and whatnot or at least that's not how my mom operate. Now she's never been a like a oh, okay well don't bother them if you get hit don't hit them. She's never been that kind of person. She's not even a let them hit you first kind of person. She's like a my mama is the. What if the first hit the last hit? You knock their ass out. You hit their ass first. My mama not like the whole, the whole oh, don't let them hit you. Or, or not, not let them hit you first. Da -da. She not even like that. My mama don't roll like that. She's like, if they get too close, you feel threatened. You have all, all my permission to handle your business. And that's just how it is. But she not finna encourage us to be, you know, go out here in the streets, ripping and running and fighting and doing hood rat shit. And I all respect to her because I wouldn't either. So... Um, we tell my mama whatever. We send her the messages. And for what reason? I don't know. Maybe just in case we get in trouble with the law. Because, you know, they had called the police the last time. I don't know. Just cover our tracks, I guess. So, um, cool. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes change. So, um, we end up stop texting for the night, I guess. I don't know. I go to sleep. My sister go to sleep. We go to sleep. The next day, my mama, my mama was like, okay. I'm, we already got dressed to go fight. Because at this point, I don't think my sister had classes today. So, we already dressed. Or whatever and um i got on a white a white t-shirt and some joggers some jogger pants and um some sneakers right i got my hair is in like my real hair is in like two little bun bunch things and i got on a bandana like just wrapped up on top of my head because i don't want to walk a drive right around the city and somebody see me and i just look fucked up because you know whatever we may or may not fight at this point i don't know if they're going to actually pull follow through so um we end up, before we leave the house, I'm almost like, oh, y'all uh, try to uh, call the police and let them know what's going on. So we called the police and we tried to file like a little police report, I guess, because I don't know. I don't really remember all the details about that. I know that the police came. We had a conversation with them. We told them what was going on and they were just like, oh, like, you know, police are, they're very reactive, not proactive people, which I already knew this, but you know, just to give my mom a little peace of mind. It's just like, okay, my, you see, they're not going to do, they said they can't do nothing unless something happens. They have no proactive measures, only reactive. That's what the police are. They react, they 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 don't they don't keep shit from happening. They no, no preventative methods are happening here. So basically, until they jump my sister again, is what I'm hearing. It's making sense to me. Until they jump my sister again, or until they lay another finger on her, or until they try her one more time, they're not going to do anything. And that just don't sit right with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and be the pro proactive measure. It's gonna be me. Now, I don't want to say F the police, but, you know, y'all know what I'm getting at here, right? Okay, cool. So, we get to, um, we left the house after that, you know, talked to the police. They was like, okay, cool. So, we stand at the door just talking to the police. We're like, okay. 
thanks thank you thank you so much we told them what they said and i'm like okay cool so um i'm like y'all need to be out here fighting da, da, da. as she's telling us that i'm strapping up my shoes tight tighty tight tight i don't need no i don't need no in incidences other than what's about to happen because i don't need my shoes fighting off i don't need nothing slowing me down i don't need to trip on a shoelace i don't need nothing so Mind you, I've never been in a fight at this point. So I'm just like, I'm not even, I'm not even nervous or, or anything at this point. I'm just, I'm very impartial. I'm very neutral. I'm just like, okay, let's just, let's just go ahead and get this shit over with. I'm not scared, especially considering I've seen the material. It's like, I don't even think, I don't even have an inkling that you could whoop my ass. Like, I don't even like, it's not giving that is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, it's just not giving that. Like, I've seen the material. I've seen the material and I've never been in your position. So, I can understand why you feel like it's safer to try me because you feel like, oh, okay, well, you're not going to do anything because you've, like, you've never seen me get down like that. You feel like, oh, why? You can't fight. You've never been in a fight. Da -da -S -Y -Z. And it's like, okay, I could, I, could, I could very well understand your point of view. But you're fucked up. So, um, we ended up leaving the house. We go to my cousin's house that's, that stay on the side of town that they was at. And, you know, we just chilling over there. Um, we pick my cousin up. We all just riding around. When I, um, my other cousin ended up coming. We all chilling. Woo, 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 riding around. Okay, cool. We texting, going back and forth. She ended up texting my cousin. I think she ended up blocking me. At this point, she had already blocked me, so I couldn't text the girl. Um, but she was still texting my. Um, I think she had maybe I blocked my sister too. I'm not sure. But then she ended up texting my cousin. She was just like, okay, like where y'all wanted me at? Where y'all wanted me at? Then she said, then she said the park. And she told us what time. She said the time of the day. Because we kept asking, like, time of day, time of day, time of day, time of day, time of day. This sounds so childish, y'all. I know. But, um, so she sent us to finally send us the time of the day. We get to the location. We get to the park. We just sitting out there. Sitting out there, chilling out there, sitting out there, chilling out there. Y'all, I kid you not. We was waiting on this girl for three hours. Sitting at the park for three hours. Like, okay, maybe they're coming. Every car to drive by, we like, okay, is that them? Like, we trying to... No, nothing. We're texting her, we're calling her. She not answering the phone. We call her off Instagram. We don't have this girl number. We calling her, texting her. Nothing. She's nowhere to be found. She'll answer the phone, answer the little Instagram call every like five, not even five. We call her like back to back to back. But like she answer the call like every two times we call her, she'll be like, I'm on the way. Da -da -da -da. Yelling in the phone like I'm on the way. Don't keep calling. Don't get my people. I'm picking up my people. I'm picking up my people. So we're like, okay, well, can you hurry up? Like, we're not even giving, like, rowdy. We're not giving yell. We're not giving cuss at you. We're not giving nothing. We're giving, like, can you just hurry up and get here? That's it. That's all we're giving. Like, I kid you not. In the calm, in the most calmest way possible, I never even texted this girl and said, I will beat your ass. I never texted this girl and said, ho, pull up. I never texted this girl and said, I'm going to do this and that and yada, yada, yada. you going to have to da 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 woo da woo, woo You can see about it. Like, I never text this girl like that. I'm not about to rap with you. I'm not about to sit up here and do all this chit-chat with you. I'm just not about to do it. Like, you could really see me in real life. It could be what it is, and that could be that. I don't have to sit up here and text you and convince you and persuade you. And I'm about to whoop your ass. That's all I'm, I'm just going to do it. You know, like, simple as that. And I'm not even a fighter. Like, if y'all know, like, I never wanted to fight this girl. Like, to the, to the, to, until I was actually going to fight her, I never wanted to fight this girl. Un no, I'm lying. I never wanted to fight this girl until she fucked my sister. I didn't know her before that. But, like, fight you, fight you, like, like really, like, actually fight you for real, for real. Even when we was at the school and we was across the street doing all that hooting and hollering, like, I would have fought her just for the, the, fuck, the fuck of it. But, like, I didn't even want to fight her for real, for real. Like, I, like, I, like, at that point, it was like, like, I'm already seeing, like, I'm already feeling the temperature with you. Like, you not really like that. It's cool. Like, you know, be yourself. So... Mm, until the jumping thing, I would have to say I never really wanted to fight her. Even when she was like after the the fight at the store, and she was like, "Oh, we about to pull up." Like if she would actually pull up, I would have really wanted to whoop her ass because like, bitch, you're bold. And then you need to be humbled. But um, like I knew that was never gonna happen. That was never gonna be a reality. Um, my sister fought your sister. That doesn't make me want to fight you. I mean, until you get yourself involved, that I don't have I don't have no beef with you. My sister beat your sister ass. What I need to fight you for? That wasn't your battle. If you want to have a battle, we can. But, like, you know, I don't really got no issue with you. You need to talk to your sister, big sis. Your sister's out here getting done up. That's embarrassing. So, um, 
Yeah, like, I never really wanted to fight her. Until the jumping thing happened. Like, then after that, like, you know, all bets were off. Like, you know, I could have seen this bitch in church. And we could have got it in. And, and, I'm, and I'm just being completely honest with you. I'm just being completely honest. Completely transparent. So, we waiting at the park for hours and hours and hours. And, um no call no show this bitch does not come so at this point it's time for us to go pick up our little siblings because they're on that side of town they go to school on that side of town so we're like okay damn i'm like all right you get in the car with the cousins i'm talking to my little sister i'm like you get in the car with the cousin i'm about to go pick the kids up and i'm like if she not here by the time i pick the kids up we leaving because like what is this is this a setup like now i'm just like First of all, if somebody tell you to meet them somewhere, it's already stupid. So that was dumb on our part. They're even go meet this bitch anywhere. Because, like, it's giving setup. Like, they could have very well set us up or some some more shit. Like, you know, it's not smart at all. So, you know, just learn from my mistakes. But, like, you know, it happened and whatnot. I'm just, I'm just here to tell the story. So, you know, I'm like, if they not here by that time, like, we just leave it. Because it's giving, it's getting weirder and weirder by, by, the, by the day, like, by the by the hours and more minutes go by it's getting weirder and weirder because where the fuck are you like where are you like we literally in your neck of the fucking woods and you still ain't here you talking about you going to get your people for three hours where are they at on the moon bitch like where does it take you three hours to go get some fucking body for why you can't just bring yourself just bring you just bring yourself we're not about to jump you of course maybe you don't believe that and you're smart to not believe that but i mean like just come on like just come on get your people and come on it'll take three hours to get no fucking wear in the city like just get your people and come on like like why is it taking all day why is this an all-day affair so i'll go get the kids boom i pick up my brothers it's the twins and my other brother that's younger than twins and um my sister my other sister that um was younger than me and the sister who was doing our fight so we I pick up all them up. We end up going back to the park, but they had told us to go to a different park because it was police at the other park. So we go to the park number two, and we like, all right. I'm like, y'all, she not here. Like, and my my sister's like the one that you know, you know, I'm fighting. She was like, nah, nah, because this, that, and the third. Woo, woo, woo. And I understand, like, she actually had like more beef with the girl than I did. I had beef with the bitch on on my sister's behalf, but my sister and her, my sister had her own beef with the with the goofy because. It was like, Goofy was getting real worked out the mouth when she was talking to my sister and the messages. She was basically talking about, like, her friend that had passed. Like, being real disrespectful, real disrespectful, like, real disrespectful, top-tier disrespectful shit. So, my sister was like, nah, I'm not leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. And my sister, one of the people that's like, once they get above they self, it's hard to bring them down. So, I'm trying my best to be like, nah, like, let's just go. I'm not, I'm not, like, it's like, I'm not pussy, respectfully. But, like, I'm not dumb either. Like you know um and it's not like i wasn't here for four hours waiting on you right so it's like i feel i'm i'm telling i'm like it's at this point it just seems like once we leave she's probably going to pull up and then you know probably get her camera and be like see they're not out here they pussy ah uh, uh, xyz meanwhile we was out here all day waiting on this bitch and she never came i'm like that's just how she is look at the material that's just the kind of bitch she is so let's just go at that, at that point i had already convinced my sister like yeah calm down like let's just go it ain't worth it if we see these bitches we see them but i mean at this point them hoes ain't trying to run it that just is what it is at this point i mean 15 fucking hours later i would assume so i'm in i'm in a car that we had rolled there in my sister in the car with my cousins we driving off i pull off i'm in front they following behind me as i'm driving a car drives past me and i look and i'm like is that goofy can't can't tell exactly i can't tell exactly but i see my cousin stop the car and i'm like oh no i'm lying they was in front of me they was in front of me i was behind them i was behind because the way that they pulled out i was following them because i have horrible sense of direction and we was going back to my cousin's house so my cousin's pull and i'm driving and i see the car pull past like after he had drove past my cousins and i'm like is that goofy i'm not mind you we're driving like slow because we're just now trying to get around the, the damn corner mind you the park is in like a, a residential neighborhood area so you know speed limit ain't that fast no ways it's not like we're on the highway so like as i'm looking i'm like is that goofy and then i see my cousin stop the car so i stop the car because i'm right behind it where the fuck i'm gonna go so i up the car and i'm like y'all stay in y'all stay in talking to my siblings because i already know how they how they'll probably get if they see like you know growing up 
Niggas was always like, one fight, we all fight. That's just how we all grew up. It was one fight, we all fight. That's just what it was. Obviously, we never had to, I never had to get the scuffling with my younger brothers because, like, the age difference is very, like, you know, more big. With my sister, it's a little bit smaller. So, because we was all, or most of us was first. So, it's like, you know, and cousins and whatnot. Whenever we went out, it was one fight, y'all all fight. That's just how we grew up. Anywhere, anytime. That's just how we grew up. So, <clears throat> um, it's just like, that's just what it was. So, I'm telling them, like, y'all chill. Do not get out this car. I don't care what y'all, what go on. Y'all stay in here. Y'all, like, lock the doors. Don't let, because I don't know. These hoes might try to, like, get in the car and drive. I don't know. They might try to kidnap y'all. Like, I don't know these bitches. They might be crazy. Fuck. Obviously, something's wrong with them. So, I'm just like, lock the doors. Don't get out. I don't care what you see happening. Tee up from inside the car, but don't bust a motherfucking move. And I'm telling my other I'm like, if you got to move this motherfucking truck, that's what you do. I don't care if the police come. Look, as long as y'all good, I'm fine with it. Like, I'm fine with it. If it, if it got to be anybody, it could be me. I'm cool. So, we get there. I get out the car. And I'm just sitting against the car, the driver's side door. Because me and my sister talked about it before we got there. She was like, um, I want to fight her. She's like going in. I'm like, all right, you can fight her. I'm going to let you fight her. But I want to get my one with this hoe too. I ain't going to jump her. I ain't going to jump her ass like she tried to do you the other day. But I mean, like, you know, because I already know it don't take all that. Like, if we jump her, it would just, it would literally look like a bullying thing. Because, like, come on. Like, you see, you like the material, you know? So I'm just like, you know, ain't no, ain't no point in jumping this bitch. But I mean, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to let you fight her. And then I'm going to get her ass, like, after you. After y'all done got y'all one and y'all recuperate and whatnot, then it's going to be my turn. So... I'm like, all right, you can fight her first because you actually got a real deal Holyfield beef with her. So I get it. So I got the car. I'm just standing there. Her people get out. Her people, like, was in a different car. So, y'all, imagine, imagine this bitch stalling us for over three hours talking about she had to pick her people up just for her to pull up with her sister that she fucking lives with. Can you fucking imagine? Can you imagine? That's some scary shit. Like, no way you stalled us for over three hours talking about you was going to pick up your people just for the people to be your fucking sister that you live with. She not at school. The bitch got kicked out. Y'all chilling at the house the whole time. For what? Like, who are you going to pick up? The people that she had that were, that were there with her, other than her sister, were already there. We had all been waiting on this bitch. And they didn't just pull up like minutes before her. They had literally already been there. What was the wait for? I still, to this day, I don't know. Goofy, if you're watching this, drop it in the comments. I would love to know. I don't fucking get it. I'm confused. She got me blocked on Instagram, so maybe she'll find me this way. What was that about? Hmm? We The people would love to know. I don't know, but, um, anyways, so, okay, what part was, okay, so, yeah, I get out the car, I'm standing against the, I'm standing against the driver's door, I'm just standing there, I'm just standing there, just looking at her, mind you, for reference, if you did not watch the first video, this bitch is 5859, I'm a cool 5'3 on a good day, with, with some nice shoes on, I'm 5'3, I'm good, I'm cool, um, my sister, she's 5'5, five, five. so, you know, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just looking at this bitch. Like, I have, when I tell you I have the straightest fucking face, like, poke her down. I'm just like, she's just talking. She's like, ah, y'all. If I could, if I could take the video image I have in my brain of this moment and just plaster it, I would just, I would just let it speak for me. She get out the car. She's just like, so what's all that shit you was talking? What's all that shit you was talking? Ah. This bitch has on like a black shirt, so like a black pants. So I think I think I think she was going with the all black thief in the night kind of vibe. She thought she was like, so sorry that she was talking, so sorry that shit she was talking. She looking at me like, like, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just looking at her, and I'm like, and I look at my sister, and then my people, my cousins that are like out of the car, they like, nah, put all the bats down, y'all. Why did her cousins get out the car with bats? Not one bat, not a bat, bats with an S at the end, plural. They had bats, they had mace, I don't, they had no tasers. Um, 
they had bats they had maids they had something else i think it was just a bunch of sticky objects i don't know like objects with sticks maybe a golf club was in there i don't know i didn't get a good look but it was like anybody about to fight so y'all put that sh down put all that down put that down da -da -da, X, y, Z, woo, 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 woo. so when my cousin's doing all that i'm just looking at goofy because i'm like i'll be damned if this bitch hit me and i'm trying to look in the background and see what the fuck y'all are talking about so i can't even direct my attention to the bats i'm like damn because if this bitch hits me and i get batted then that's just that because i can't even be like hold no wait goofy wait put all the bats down like she's not going for that this bitch in my face trying to look cool in front of her cousins she's trying to act like she wants to fight me right now so i have to be here with it so i'm just looking at her She's like, so what's all that shit you was talking? I'm just in my head like, I wouldn't talk shit. She was like, you said you're going to do what to me? You said you're going to do what to me? And I'm just like, bitch, I don't even sound like me. Like, I would never sit here and rap with you, bitch. But I can show you what I'm about to do to you. My job is looking at this bitch. And at this point, I'm getting like a little nervous. But not nervous because I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to beat me up. I'm just getting nervous because I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to hit me. Like, and I know like, that's like, girl, that's the same thing. But no, it's not because I'm just like, I know she's probably going to hit me at least once during this fight. I'm not saying she's going to beat my ass, but, like, that's literally what a fight is. Two people, like, you know, duking it out. So, when she hits me, I'm like, damn, I don't want her to, like, scratch my face or anything like that. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about that kind of thing. I'm like, I don't want the police to come. Like, I'm thinking about shit like that. And I'm thinking, like, damn, my siblings in the car. Like, this is a horrible example I'm setting for them. Like, I ain't never been on no shit like that. I don't even want them to think this shit is cool. I'm just, like, like all these thoughts are in my head on top, like, in the back but, like, in the front of my brain, it's just, like, I'll be damned if I let this bitch beat me the fuck up in front of my younger brothers or sisters. Because what the fuck? Like, how are they ever going to call on me again after that? It's one thing for me to get beat the fuck up over yonder. But, like, they're literally front row seats trying to see what the fuck's going on. So, I'm just, like, I can't even go out like that. Like, hell no. And my cousin's not even the type to even try to tee you up. So, it's not even, like, the, the crowd is, like, giving me, like, pumping me up or anything. Like I said, I'm just standing there. Because it's, like, if it was me and this bitch, if we was the last, the last of the motherfucking Mohicans, if we was the last two bitches on earth, y'all i fight this whole again and that's on me I, I put that on everything i fucking love like that's just what it is that's just what it's like it, it never was about it never was about the 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 crowd or the audience like it was genuinely about the fucking disrespect respectfully so um she's like okay so what's all that shit you was talking and i'm just standing there i'm like i'm like come on come on come on come on, come on. Come on. I, I kept saying that. Every time she said something, it's like, come on. Come on. Come on. The bitch still going. All I'm saying is, come on. And I'm just like, at this point, I'm just looking around. I'm like, bored as fuck. I'm just like, damn, this bitch just keep going. I'm like, she don't want to fight for real. I'm like, why she just keep talking? And in my head, though, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just like, come on. Like, I'm not about to argue with you, bitch. Like, come on. Are you going to hit me or not? Like, come on. So, I'm like waiting for her to get close enough for me to hit her ass, right? And so, like, she's like, hmm. Let me turn to the side so I can see. She's like this far away from me so like you know she's not even in arm's reach for real like the way the cars were parked like she was like coming closer but not coming too close until her cousin was like man goofy hit that hole this i kid you not this bitch swung at me like she's like standing in front of me she's like swings and y'all like if it's coming towards me it from my from my perspective it came this way so she swings this way and i and i move and she missed it was over from there y'all i kid you not when she swung and missed i'm like are you dead ass in my head like the whole time i'm fighting this bitch i'm just like doing my own commentary in my brain so she like swings and missed. i'm like did this bitch just miss and like mind you like the the fighting commits within within split seconds so like that was like a quick little passing thought i was like did this bitch just miss so like once she swung and missed i'm like bow bow like okay so the way it is like i said she's 5'8 so she's like hunched over me so this bitch is like like if this is me if this is me and this is her she's like crowded over me so like from this angle it looks like this you can't even see me because you know long lanky ass bitch um 
So she's the way it is, it's like she's like this, like over me, but as she's over me, like I'm drawing her ass, drawing her ass, drawing her ass, drawing her ass. And so, oh, and I had acrylics on too, but before we went to the fight, I had got some uh, toenail clippers from my cousin house, and I cut all my fucking nails down. It was cute too. I cut all them bitches down because I was like, I'll be damned this bitch break my fucking nail. Because as soon as they, they, they see blood, they're gonna be like, oh, you got your ass beat. And bitch, I'll be damned. So. Um, I'm drawing her ass, drawing her ass, drawing her ass, drawing her ass, right? So I'm just going hands for hands with this bitch. Like, I'm not pulling hair. I'm not even thinking about that. I'm just hitting her ass. And I'm, like I said, she's over like this. And I'm just doom, 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 doom. Like, literally hitting all her face, all straight face shots, right? Now, she's hitting my shoulder like this. She tearing my shoulder up, I gave her that. She was fucking my shoulder up. I woke up that morning with a mean little, woo, you know? But, um... She was hitting my shoulder. She was she was hitting my shoulder. Now, mind you, in the moment, your adrenaline, I didn't really feel it in the moment. It didn't feel like shit. It just felt like, like, it just felt, it felt like, like somebody tapping you, like, like that, like, kind of, like this. It just felt like, like that. But, um, I know she was trying, actually trying. I get it. But, um, mm, so, at one point, oh, okay, so, I'm hitting her ass, hitting her in the face, right? Hitting her in the face. And so, um... The way it is, it's like, because she's ducking, like, like, crouching over me, like, and I'm hitting her ass like this, it's like, she's backing up, like, trying to get away from me. Like, every hit, she's trying to, like, back up. And I'm staying on her ass, because, like, bitch, where are you going? Like, I'll, I'll hit her ass, and she try to get back, but every time I hit her, she back up, I'm coming. I'm coming closer, because, like, bitch, where are you going? Like, don't run from this ass whooping, just go ahead and take it and be done. Because, like... No. So, I'm not, I'm not about to chase you, bitch. If you think I'm about to hit you and then you about to run and we about to, all right, one more time. No. Let's just go ahead and get this shit over with now. Like, bitch, come on. So, every time she try to back up, I'm, I'm moving with her ass. Moving with her ass. So, I'm like, I'm like drawing her ass. Drawing her shit. Just fucking her face up. So, um, we end up turning around and some more shit. She, like, kicked. Like, cause, like I said, I was like, I was like on her ass. She, like, kicked at me to try to get me away from her and once she kicked at me i kicked back at her just just like just like bitch don't put your feet on me like that's some disrespectful shit my grandma always told me putting your feet on somebody is equivalent to spitting on them so like bitch don't fucking put your feet on me like in that moment i was thinking like let this bitch put her fucking feet on me like she didn't even kick me like she didn't even kick me it didn't hurt it was just like ew your fucking feet <laughs> okay all seriousness i'm sorry this is just fucking this is a shit show so um she did that and like we ended up like backing up. I think before we turned around, like she had like st like got away from me like a like a good distance away. But like, even when she did, I'm just like bah, 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 bah. like like she was like as she like got like back up like got enough enough breathing room away from me like i was still like trying to connect with her ass because i'm like bitch don't fucking run but i'm like hitting her ass and as i'm like i'm like hitting her like that because she's like how do I explain this, y'all? Damn. So, because I want to put the video on here, but last time I put something on here, it got demonetized. I'm going to try to upload the video by itself and see if it gets demonetized for violence. And if it does, then I'm not going to put it on here. It's not even a whole video anyway, so it really will be a waste. But ask Jasmine. If y'all go ask her, she'll... she'll she might tell you the truth i don't know or i could ask my little brothers y'all don't believe me i could always make this a part three anyway so i'm like i'm like hitting her like this because she's like backing up and so like that's when we got turned around that's when she did the kick that's when i did kick back and when she kicked me and i kicked her back i realized i'm like this bitch has my hair mind you like i told y'all two i told you i had two little bun buns this bitch had one of my bun buns this one to be exact and, like, once I realized that she had my fucking bun bun, because after the kick, that kind of threw me off. I'm like, bitch, you not even fighting fair, ho. Like, don't fucking play with me, bitch. Don't put your nasty-ass fucking feet on me. Then, I, then I'm like, she really not fighting fair. This bitch has my hair. So, after I realized she had my fucking hair, like, we got even more, like, to the side. Like, we, like, was moving a little bit more. So, I'm, like, hitting her ass, hitting her ass, hitting her ass. She, like, gets in front of me. Like, get in front of me. And I'm, like, on the side, like, off to the side, like, a little bit behind her. And I'm, like... Hit, I was like hitting her, hitting her ass, hitting her face, hitting her face. And then like at some point, she was like trying to like move my hands, like just grab, grab start grabbing my hands. So when she started doing that, I was just like, oh, okay, bitch. Like this is taking a turn for the worst. So I just grabbed her fucking hair and I just mm, flipped her ass. So she had, what did she have in her head? I don't know. I don't know how her hair was. I just know I grabbed her fucking hair 
this big ass bitch. I grabbed her fucking hair and I flipped this bitch. Her, her face went like this. Boom. Into her fucking car. The grill in her fucking car. Grill to grill with that ass. She hit her fucking face first into the fucking car. Then that's when she like laid over on the ground. Like completely fell over. And that's when I'm just like. Mine, mine, mine. Like you know. Like real regular fighting shit. Like you see a bitch. A bitch. But I wasn't like sitting on top of her like, like that. Like that. I was just like. I was still standing up. But I had her ass on the ground. I'm just like. Mine, mine, mine. Throw a little stomp in there. Like. Like, like you know regular shit and as i'm the as i first after i flipped her and like got her on the ground i'm like did i really just flip this bitch like i'm hitting her but i'm just like this is not real life now i stomp her ass and i'm like this shit too fucking easy like it's not even like this isn't fun like how was this fun the bitch isn't even fighting back she's like a fucking dead roach so when she was on the ground she was just helpless at that point like when at least when we were standing up she was trying to fight me back like you know the best of her abilities i give her that but like once she was on the ground like it was it was game over for that bitch so like, as i'm like hitting her hitting her hitting her stomp her ass hit her hit her stomp her ass her cousin runs over there she's like all right that's enough let her go let her go let her go and i let her go and i was like okay i just let the bitch go because like what's the fun in this like she's like look at her she got up and her fucking eye was bleeding um my cousin told me that um my cousin actually works with her now not like in the same department they work in the same building and she said she's on an elevator she still has like a a mark from like i guess where her eye was bleeding i don't know um she's about this she's like really light skinned so she's like like this like mm, sucks the fucking suck anyway so that went on i think we was fighting we wasn't fighting for too long i don't think um but y'all, it gets fucking crazier. So, um, my sister ended up fighting her sister. That's not really my story to tell. They ended up fighting or whatever. That was that. Um, so after that, I get in the fucking car, right? I get in the car. Like, I have my brothers unlock the door and I get in the car. And they're like, oh my God, God, you just beat that girl ass. You just beat that girl up. You just beat that girl up. That's why I see my sister like, you just beat her ass. Like, they just going. And I'm like, oh my God, Kai, I didn't know you could fight. Like, <laughs> Of course, like kids just say the darndest fucking things. He's like, I didn't know you could fight. I didn't know you could fight. Then I will you just beat that girl up? Oh my god, you like, like that's all, like you know, kid shit. I'm just like, I'm just like, oh my god, y'all. I can't believe y'all. I'm like, y'all not even supposed to be here right now. Like, I'm just talking to the regular. I'm like, y'all not even supposed to be here right now. Y'all not even supposed to be here right now. My dress sister's still out the car. Um, she over there with my cousins though. I got in the car so I could move the car because like the way we are, it's like quite obvious because like the way we stop, it's like. Like, you know, you park on the, on the side in front of somebody's house. Like, that's one thing. But, like, where we were, it wasn't really nobody's house. It wasn't nobody's house right there. It's just, like, awkward placing. So, I'm like, I'm going to move the car at least to the other side and pull it up a little bit. Because that way, if anybody does come, it's like my siblings are, like, like bird's eye view. Like, that's them. We need to get their ass. Because don't fucking, don't mess with my siblings. So, I get in the car to go move it. And, like, you know, I've been sitting there talking to my siblings for a little minute. It's been, like, what, maybe, like three four five minutes and after i got the bitch i got the bitch up like i hit her or whatever and she got up and you know after i stomped her ass she got up and she walked off she was like she had like a little bit of a limp not nothing crazy like she hopping on one fucking leg damn near but like you could tell like it was it was some damage was done right and i didn't notice her i was bleeding until she had already walked like across like past a couple cars and i was like Ooh, damn bitch you don't look too good and like you because she's so light-skinned like it was a couple of bruise marks like i could see on her arms and like her face a little bit but i'm just like you know okay cool like maybe i'm my whole my whole goal is for you to leave my sister the fuck alone bitch like that's all i give a fuck about like okay you look bad like you always look bad bitch but like i don't really care about that did you learn your fucking lesson so um i'm in a car right and this bitch comes over. She's like, get out the fucking car. Get out the fucking car. So I'm just teasing her ass, playing with her ass. I'm like, I'm like, for what? You want your ass beat again? That ass. I'm talking about popping my shit because now I feel good, bitch. Because no way did you just think you were going to beat me the fuck up. And you just got dead in that fucking badly. This is a fucking shit show. And you're in front of your cousins. And this is the life that you fucking live, bitch. I don't care to your motherfucking spot. It took over because this is your life. You the motherfucking street runner, huh? Ain't you? You the miss motherfucking miss fighter bitch, huh? This you. This your t territory. Oh, to be ashamed. This y'all queen. And I'm just like, 
Oh, I'm like, I'm like, what, what your ass be doing? What your ass be again? She bigs, picks up her big ass fucking foot and boom, stomps my mama car door. <laughs> Y'all. And I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all, I'm, I'm my brother's getting rowdy after she's after that first stomp. I'm like, no, y'all, sit down. They about to get out. They're like, no, that's my mama car. Da -da -da. Like they going crazy, going stomp from the back seat. And I'm like, no, y'all, chill, chill, chill. So I'm trying to calm it down before I get the fuck out. This bitch picks her big ass foot up and does it again. Oh my god, y'all, it was actually like a little damn my mama car car from that. So I'm just like, this bitch is insane. Like I, I'm not pissed off because I'm like. Bitch, now you fucking my mama shit. Like, bitch, you just you just don't fucking learn. You always don't learn. I get out the fucking car. I open the door. I open the door because I'm like, all right, bitch. After I come up and I'm like, all right, bitch. I'm about to get your ass exactly what the fuck you asking for. And, and I say exactly that. I had, the, I had the window cracked a little bit just so she could hear when I was talking shit. And I, I open the fucking door and she backing up like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bitch, get out the car. Yeah. She backing up, y'all. I open the fucking door. This bitch takes her bottle of mace that they have and throws the whole fucking bottle in me. If I wasn't so quick with the reflexes from catching babies, you know, because, you know, I had all them siblings growing up from, you know, my big sister instincts. If I wasn't so quick with the reflexes, my ass would have been, that's damn near acid, ain't it? I would have been fucked up. She would have really beat my ass then because, y'all, can you imagine a whole bottle of maize? I've never even had a a a taste of fucking mace let alone a whole bottle just pour it down my fucking throat because you want to be an evil bitch because you're salty that you just got stomped out that's not my fault bitch i gave you what you were asking for you literally wanted this ass whooping how are you mad at me for giving you what you want crazy so i go to get out the door she throws the fucking bottle of mace and i like close the door really fast like i hadn't opened it like why like push it out or whatever you know i just opened it enough to get out because like you know I don't, I want to be able to get out, like slide out, and quickly get up on this bitch because you know this whole might try to kick me again. I'm not trying to have that and fall back. You know that I'm fucked up. So I'm like, I'm like, I open the door just enough for me to get the fuck out comfortably. And as I do that, she like throws, and I close the door, and that she just landed all over the fucking door and a little bit on the, not a little bit, like halfway on the fucking um window. And I'm like, what the fuck, y'all? I kid you not, she threw this fucking mace and called ass. Now, come on, bitch. You don't want to fucking fight me. Why would you ever throw this fucking mace and run? Grow up. Grow up. Stay your scary, skinny ass to the motherfucking side. Stay to the fucking side. This coming from me, the skinniest bitch in America. Stay your ass to the motherfucking side. So, y'all, after that, I have finally... I mm, Okay, I was going to say this part, but after she threw the motherfucking mace, I put the car in drive and I tried to run her over. Mm, yeah. Um, allegedly. I'm just kidding. I didn't really try. I tried to run her over, allegedly. Didn't really try to run her over. But, um, you know, that happened. And, um, a split-second decision because I realized my siblings were in the car. You know, that would be kind of, you know, traumatizing to them. So, you know, I caught myself and I just, you know, moved the car to the front, to the side. And, um, I got the fuck out. And after that, she had started directing her energy towards my sister. But... She wasn't directing her energy towards my sister, like, let me fight your sister 101, which even that would have been an issue because if she was trying to fight, fight my sister 101, I would have very well jumped in. And I have no shame in saying that because I don't really give a fuck. But, um, she tried to fight my sister, but she was saying, like, let's just jump that hole, let's just jump this hole. Talking to her sister that's already in the middle of trying to fight my sister. So she's saying, like, let's jump her. My cousin's like, no, nah, that ain't about to happen. That ain't about to happen. My other little sister that was in the car, she out the window like, but when I punched the fuck out you, you wasn't doing shit. Da -da. So she's, like, going in because whenever the jumping thing had happened, she was there. She had, like, you know, got that whole ass too. So it's just like, you know, the whole family not fucking with it. Um, Her cousins are just literally sideline characters, not doing shit. Um, Eventually, to make a long story short, um, the fight had was over. We ended up going home. But before we went home, they had like start while everybody, everybody walking back to their cars. My sister ended up 
my sister had her her sister like this had tipped in like this and she was just working her ass working her ass working her ass i saw him because when i had went back to go get in the car because the police had came um i see my sister like working this bitch working this bitch working this bitch and i'm like i know that's the fuck right my sister getting that whole ass and so i'm like going back over there to like you know calm shit down or whatever i look and see my cousin Boom, boom, boom. Sitting on top of Goofy, working her ass. My cousin is four fucking eleven. My kids my cousin is four eleven. She not heavy set. She not thick as fuck. She's just four eleven. So it's not like she oh, she weighed her down. My cousin is four eleven. Like what? 120 maybe? <laughs> Bitch, you are a joke. That's why I call her Goofy. You got your ass beat twice. One of them was by a literal, a literal dwarf. And you got so much mouth. It's, it's absolutely insane. So, um, yeah, that happened. My cousin ended up beating her ass. I'm looking at my cousin. I'm like, there's no fucking way this is actually happening. Bitch, you're a joke. You're a joke. And I see my sister like... My, my sister said somebody had ended up pulling her like I guess one of her cousins had ended up pulling my sister off off her sister cause my sister had ended up like you know whooping the girl ass so good that she had got on top of her started beating her ass too and then somebody had pulled my sister back I guess this happened in the time that I was like in the, going back from the car and looking at my cousin and all that so I see my sister is like laying on the ground and the bitch tip thing is on top of my sister I run up there so quick I'm like bop 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 Fucking that face up. Like, girl, get the fuck, get the fuck gone. Get the fuck gone. So they end up getting up or whatever. Um, and we end up going home. The police had came, but they really just came to try to break it up. They was breaking it up at the same time. I was over there punching Tiffany in her shit because she was half my sister. The police was over there too. At that point, I didn't give a fuck because arrest me officer. I don't give a fuck. My sister, do you see my sister right here? And I'm gonna continue to beat this bitch's ass. Worry about her. If you if you get the root of the motherfucking problem, I promise I'll stop. But until y'all get this bitch, I'm not stopping shit. So they ended up getting them off, whatever. Everybody went home. We went home, or we went to my cousin's house first. We talked about it, recuperated, whatnot. Had a little debriefing session. We was like, wow, y'all, that really just fucking happened. Mm, that's crazy. And we just talking about how, like, we just whooped that girl ass and everybody who was involved. We just talking about it so crazily. And um, my siblings just kept talking about it first day. It was like, oh, my God. Like, my, they wasn't really talking about my um my sister fighting. It was more so about me because, like, like I said, I had never been in a fight at this point. And everybody was just like wow who fucking knew like i guess my siblings because you know they always tease you and like you know siblings want to play fight with you and stuff but like why would you fight your sibling like you're about to fight a bitch off the street it just never gave that so yeah that's my story um goofy if you're watching this hmm, how was that eye how we're holding up how was the eye hmm? still functioning properly um tipping if you're watching this you should be probably watching a lecture for school, watching a YouTube video on how to get your fucking GED. Yeah, find you some business. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to say. Anyways, I don't feel bad for shit. Like I said, if it was the last two bitches on earth, I would beat that whole ass again. And um, she still got me blocked. So, you know, I guess she chose peace. <laughs> <coughs> I guess she finally chose peace. <laughs> but um, I love that you're um trying to be mature about the situation, girl. By blocking me, I guess, because I was just such a fucking issue. Anyways, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'm going to upload again this week. Probably going to upload twice. A little story time and a little vloggy vlog. Nothing crazy. And yeah. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.